Hi everyone, and thank you for coming to this video presentation uh, investigating the validity and reliability of on sand jumping performance using mobile devices. Um, so, as all of you are here today, it's proof already that there's an increased interest in sand based sports. The three most prominent uh, sand based sports are volleyball, uh, beach handball, and beach football. Um, all of which can be characterized by explosive accelerations, extremely short sprints, and change of direction. But something that's been seen across all three sports and seems an imperative measure is jumping performance. And although there is quite a lot of research on beach volleyball, there still lacks information on beach handball and beach football um, characterizing on sand jumping performance. Oftentimes, performance metrics are collected on firm ground and then utilized and predicted um, for sand sport athletes. Of course, there has been an observed relationship between the performance on rigid and sand surfaces. However, there lacks um, ecological validity, and this might not truly translate and replicate from rigid onto sand-based performance. Um, if done in an ecologically valid manner, this can better lead to improved training-made training interventions um, talent identification processes and can help with player monitoring. However, when doing this, we need to conduct these measures using valid and reliable um, tools. And as such, in terms of jumping performance, the gold standard is often implemented using force plates. However, these require specialist users, are extremely expensive, and it wouldn't be too feasible to conduct these covering them or in sand. Therefore, there could be possible solutions such as app-based tools or wearable devices. Therefore, the aim of the present study is to assess the validity and reliability of an app-based and a wearable tool um, on sand. And the final goal will be to determine whether measurements can be used in the field and in ecologically valid settings, and also can lead us away from this translation from rigid surface and in laboratory measures for use on sand. For the present study, we utilized a convenient sample of 21 sports science students, of which were physically active, meaning they participated in sporting activity for a minimum of three times per week. The test retest with design was conducted over a two week period where participants were required to come twice with a space of 24 hours between, keeping all nutritional and supplementational intake the same, and also refraining from physical activity during that 24 hour period. Then all participants were to perform counter movement jumps um, across all three devices uh, simultaneously. Um, counter movement jumps were performed in a custom built sandbox, as can be seen in the figure in the top right hand side of the um, slide here, um, and this box will span across four force plates. The sand used within uh, the box was approved by the German Beach Volleyball Federation as indoor sand and was filled to a weight of approximately uh, 1,000 kilograms. Ground reaction forces were recorded by the force plates um, and with a sampling frequency set at 1500 hertz. We also had an iPad with the app MyJump which was placed on a tripod in front of the box, which can also be seen in the figure. Um, although the MyJump app users advise to keep the camera level with the ground um, so that takeoff and landing can be seen effectively, this was difficult due to one's feet sinking within the sand. Therefore, the iPad was tilted at an 80 degree angle to better see the takeoff and landing phases. The iPad was placed at 80 centimeters in front of the sandbox and at a height of 95 centimeters. Additionally, um, all participants wore the MyVert sensor, which was located uh, on the back at the uh, lower part of the back. Participants were instructed to perform two consecutive cat movement jumps, uh, not at 100% effort in the sandbox to get them familiarized with jumping on the unstable surface. Um, standardized instructions were given prior to the jumps and if needed technique was corrected. Um, the count movement jumps were performed consecutively and this was five times 
and there was approximately one and a half minute rest between each jump. During this time, we rate to um, put the sand back to a level setting. Also, we could recalibrate the force plates and ensure that the uh, my vert and my jump were ready for performing. Um, force place data was processed via MATLAB, and the my jump data was assessed by three individual raters, um, indicating the time of takeoff and landing of the jump. Um, the mean of all three um, raters were used for uh, the measurement. Um, also, MIVERT was used calculating its height via a propriety algorithm and its own sampling frequency. Um, the force plates were considered the gold standard, so we assessed um, validity and reliability of my jump and my vert against the gold standard. Um, the combined data of day one and day two were used for reliability and validity analysis, meaning that there were 210 observations. However, some jumps were not detected by vert, um, meaning that only 900, uh, 192 observations were used. As you can see here, we utilized uh, the insular class uh, correlation coefficient two-way random single measures with absolute agreement and consistency. For the MyJump2 re uh, test retest reliability, that was assessed via an ICC two-way mixed single measurement, both absolute agreement and consistency. Furthermore, for concurrent validity, we used the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, and for visual representation, we used a bland Altman plot to show the uh, agreement between the devices. Um, what you can see in the current table is all of the data for the devices on measurement day one, two, and then the um, mean of. And what you can already observe by just looking at this table, if we look at the min and max on the overall column, we can already see that there's a slight underestimation uh, for my jump. However, there's an overestimation um, for my vert. But when we start looking at the within device ICC estimates and correlations, if we look at the my jump two, what we can see is excellent um, agreement, consistency, and relationship for all three inter-rater, intra-rater, and inter-day reliability, whereas um, when it comes to the MyVert, um, that shows a good reliability with only values of around 0.79. When we look at the um, comparisons between the devices and our criteria measure. What we can see between force plate and my jump here is again, um, good and excellent um, agreement and a very strong correlation between the devices. However, when we look at the my jump, uh, the my vert, sorry, we can observe moderate and good um, reliability. When we observe the bland outman plots here and we look at figure one, um, which is looking at my jump and um, the force plate, what we can observe is a more systematic um, measurement and under, um, of under-reporting jump height in comparison to the criterion measure. Uh, and when we observe figure two, comparing my vert, what we observe is a more sporadic, unsystematic and um, a trend for more overestimation of jumping height in comparison to the um, force plate. So what can we take from this? It appears that the MyTump2 app is a valid and reliable tool to measure um, cat movement jumps in sand um, by having similar um, ICCs of good to excellent, and this has been seen in previous research using this app on firm ground. Um, one thing is it's recommended to provide the assessors with clear instructions, especially when trying to observe the takeoff and landing when it's on sand. Um, there is an underestimation of jumping height in comparison to the force plates. However, this appears to be more or less systematic and therefore can be accounted for within um, your measurements. Whereas MIVA appears to only have a moderate level of validity and reliability. 
Um, however, there's large discrepancy and a more of an unsystematic difference compared to the criteria measure, and therefore it would not be recommended to use vert to measure cat movement jump performance on sand. Also, alarmingly, vert did not uh, detect 18 jumps which were recorded, um, even though these were standardized measures. There were some limitations. The sand within the sandbox might behave differently to infield situations. The wooden sandbox can pick up vibrations. Um, the level of participants was extremely heterogeneous, and sand moisture may vary slightly. However, um, for an initial insight into the validity and reliability, it appears there are some potentially good tools. So what can we take home with us that we could use the MyJump2 um, to measure in sand and have more ecologically valid measures in sand that could be used for improving maximal performance? We would potentially suggest that it should be used for um, long-term measures rather than one-off maximal performance testing, so it can be used for development over time, whereas the MyVert we would um, suggest not using within the sand. Thank you for your uh, attention. If you have any questions, please don't uh, hesitate to email me.